I like to think of Daniel Chester French as uh, one of my predecessors because between 1903 and 1931, he was a trustee at the Metropolitan Museum. And, but he was also de facto curator of modern sculpture, both European and American. Um, he headed the trustees committee on sculpture. He was so important for the formation of our American sculpture collection because he, of course, was well connected and well liked in the art world. And he was able to work with the artists themselves, their families and estates and galleries to make recommendations to the Met about what the museum should be acquiring. And it's really interesting because until about 1905, the Met did not buy any contemporary art. Everything that came in was by gift or bequest. So French had this incredible opportunity to work with a blank slate and um, purchase funds and really, in a way, form the canon of American sculpture that we know today and that we now are broadening and reconfiguring. In the museum's historical American sculpture today, I'd say about 40% of the objects in our collection came in during French's tenure, so that's really quite remarkable.